Hi everyone, I'm Bianca Jade of Misfit.com and I am here in Midtown Manhattan at the flagship Norma Kamali store. I'm here to sit down and chat with Norma Kamali herself. She is a legendary couture and sportswear designer, one of my very favorites. So I'm very honored to speak with her for my Women Who Empower series. Come join me. I was able to steal Norma away as she gets all set up for her event, Young Women and Empowerment, downstairs. And I just want to say I'm so honored to interview you, or rather chat with you. Well, thank you um, for coming. I've been a longtime fan, and I used to steal my mom's um, NK pieces oh, good. from her closet. Mm -hmm. I want to start off talking about um, really this event that you're putting on, uh -huh. uh, Young Women and Empowerment. Can you tell me a little bit you know, about what it's about? Um, I've been uh, creating this campaign uh, about empowering women and looking at things we do in our lives, whether objectifying ourselves or, or being victims of objectification, as, as a, a kind of this block that we don't talk about that gets in the way of reaching our potential as women. So um, the object <coughs> objectification of women is, is something that we might be doing to ourselves, Absolutely. not just that no, men no, are... No, no, it's many forms, in mm -hmm. many, many forms. And I am not a woman who doesn't like men and doesn't, you know, thinks men are all bad. It's not at all what I'm saying. Men are gonna be our saviors. Men are really gonna be the ones that help change what's happening and the millennial man actually is going to be staying home with the baby so there's I all could the indication get used to that. That, that there's <laughs> all the indication saying that that he's more inclined to want to not be as competitive and we want to lean forward and get out there i think that men um well the really great ones are attracted to empowered powerful mm -hmm. successful ambitious women you're right the really great mm -hmm. ones are mm -hmm. you're right did you ever think or imagine that you'd be the fashion, wellness, and lifestyle entrepreneur, as well as mega brand that you are now? And and I know that you know that's you want to empower other women to to find right. their calling. But like, did you have a vision of this whole thing that you've created, or you know, tell tell me about it because it's it's so yeah. big and impressive that I feel like there had to be something in you from the very beginning. Well, it's back to. Who was my mother? I mean, my mother uh, was all of these things you just discussed. Mm -hmm. She could do anything. Um, she was doing juicing with Jack LaLanne and his exercises, and she was making gorgeous costumes and could bake the most magnificent cakes and paint paintings, and I thought that was normal. Mm -hmm. I thought everybody's mother was like that. No, so not, not everyone has that. So, no, <laughs> I, I, I realized, hmm, okay, that, what a great benefit, but she was also wacky mm -hmm. and crazy. And I took on kind of a role of a mother and kind of tempering her, but I had this extraordinary influence, but then I learned how to work with women and how to really understand a woman who was a little complicated and how to communicate with her and how to relax her and calm her. And then I thought, women need strength and empowerment to come from within and my tools all came together from my wonderful experience with my mother now there were times i thought we would kill each other yeah. for sure but i look at it now and I, it totally defined who i am today did i know i was going to do that no did i know the direction i'm going in and where i want to go uh, no but it's not a surprise to me because there's nothing that i'm doing now that i didn't do all my life in some form when i was 11 years old i remember my mother telling me norma i'm going to give you some advice i want you to learn to be an independent woman and learn how to take care of yourself so the man you decide to marry is the man you love, not mm -hmm. the man that's going to take care, take of, care you. of you. And I, I didn't quite get it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, mom, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> another whatever. And then as I got older, I thought, oh, my God, what wonderful advice. Mm -hmm. And I actually, um, I, I'm so pleased that I had that, you know, incredible futuristic thinking 
from a woman who was born in 1917. My mom is, you know, one of my role models too, and uh, and it's funny. Like she always tells me, uh, Bianca, you should, you know create the person or be yeah. the person you want to be before you fall in love Absolutely. because you have to you know love yourself and find your passion you and everything and yeah, yeah. before yeah. before you do fall in love and one thing that I personally fell in love with was fitness and fashion right. and, and that's uh, something that you have you know uh, really infused right. into your designs and I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. why sportswear uh, became so important to you right well I I have been doing workouts of all kinds, uh, you know, through the decades. I've been doing fashion since mm -hmm. 1967. So in the 60s, working out was not anything mm -hmm. anybody ever thought about. <clears throat> and if you think about Twiggy, there was not a little, there wasn't muscle tone at all. And you they didn't were just think so about skinny. It. They were model <clears throat> skinny. <laughs> but, um, but we were going out dancing every night and in the 70s too it was a, it was a very not about working out but a lot of kind of physical mm -hmm. activity and no technology a lot of interaction and and so there was a lot of activity and then in the 80s and I think probably after the studio 54 kind of rush mm -hmm. The, the idea of working out really became a little bit more present, not to everybody, but um, there were individual workout clubs, and I loved it. I loved sports as a kid. I loved swimming. I liked playing basketball. I, lo I just love sports. I enjoy competition, so if you like competition, you like being in the gym with other people. So I love classes and I love being in a class because you can't slack off for a minute. And I mean, the energy of other people so kind great. of drives it's, you, right? It's excellent. And I love all kinds of classes. Uh, so what do you wear when you're working out? I mean, to me, how you feel, and there's mirrors everywhere, so you can't help but seeing yourself. Mm -hmm. And there are times you don't, like, I really don't want to see my face <laughs> yeah. right now. Not going to look at the face, not going to, you know. But, so if you look in the mirror and you feel like you're looking fit, you perform better. I mean, it's just something that clicks in your head, and you know that if you work uh, I mean, I tell people that you should treat every workout like you're going on a date with, exactly. with yourself. Exactly, exactly. And it's important, especially when you're feeling that your body's not 100%, that you put on things that make you feel good and that energize you. And, and I just did this new collection, Interactive Active. Mm -hmm. and Which I love. I checked I'm out, and it's, so, it's amazing. I, I, I'm, <laughs> and we're working on the next group now, and, and I love the technology of using fabrics that can help perform. I really want to expand on that. I want to do more tops that help with posture mm -hmm. and help with how we stand when we work out. But the pieces also, you know, are they look like things that you might want to wear out. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they look very transitional, right. which is nice, especially living right. in New York City where we we're constantly do that. on the move. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do that. And uh, and for me, I'm I usually, as you can see, mm -hmm. have my workout clothes underneath. Are you wearing your workout clothes? Of course right I now? am. <laughs> so um, because I, I'm either going to go to the gym or came from the gym mm -hmm. or whatever, and so I've learned. And I'm doing this on purpose, too, because doing this collection, I realize it's a layering thing. Like, you may be going to work and then know that you're going to run out to the gym mm -hmm. at lunch or in the afternoon. So if you have the things on, you just take, for me, I take my dress off. And you can't use it off. as an excuse right. that you didn't have no. time. And so I take my stuff off, I take my shoes off, boom, I'm in the class. I've been a designer all these years, and I've never followed another path. I've mm -hmm. always done my point of view on fashion and I've stayed true to myself and been authentically me and it's very hard to stay in business as long as I've been in business and not have partners mm -hmm. and not have investors and and so I'm very proud to be able to say that I was able to do that and I believe it was because I understood the authentic me. I didn't want to be the richest designer in the world or the most famous but I wanted to have the most creative fun my entire career, and I'm still having it, and I still see so many great opportunities. And so I've lived my dream, 
And that's the most important thing. So I don't envy wanting to be another designer who may be super fabulous and famous. And I, I'm, I'm so happy being me. You can't, you can't desire love that desperately from outside. You have to. It, you have to love yourself. I completely relate to what you're saying because I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I don't have kids. I'm not married. And whenever I go home, people are like, well, what's wrong? You know, they mm -hmm. they think that there's something, you know, I have an issue or it's, I can't, you know, keep a relationship. And I've never been happier in my life. So it's, you know, it's really nice to, mm -hmm. to hear you say that because I, I think that, you know, just because, you know, we haven't sort of, um, not every woman has, you know, checked these boxes in mm -hmm. her life. It doesn't mean that we're, Everybody. that we're not smart or not, you we know. We have a different calendar. I mean, I, I, I here's my calendar. I'll, so, so mm -hmm. you can kind of rest easy, or maybe it'll make you nervous. <laughs> when I, when, when I, I got married when I was 19, uh, I wanted to get out of the house mm -hmm. because it was crazy, and I got divorced at 29, and I never married again. I didn't want to be married again. I really don't think I wanted to be married ever in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, I knew that I didn't want to have kids because I didn't think I could be a good mom and have the responsibility of a career. I love kids and I take care of them through other things, mm -hmm. but I knew that that wouldn't work for me. And I kept wondering, when am I going to meet my soulmate? All these years, when am I going to meet my soulmate? Well, I met my soulmate three years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you know amazing as it may seem I actually you know I thought I can't believe it it's it's like it this is my this is my kind of time and you know what it's the best time I would not have been ready for a soulmate before it would have been too difficult for for someone else to understand my life and and my passion yeah. and then I a friend of mine introduced me to someone it's like oh my god <laughs> I think this is there what a soulmate is. There you go. Well, so that is really cool. I mean, go. that makes me feel good. So well, no. <laughs> I hope you don't have to wait as long. Thank you, Norma, so much for sitting My down pleasure. and chatting with me. And um, I know that Misfit viewers are going to love finding out all this great wisdom that you shared. Right. And I just want to wish you best of luck on the Young Women in Empowerment Thank event. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wasn't Norma so empowering? And so is all this fitness clothes, guys. I'm going to take a quick peek before going downstairs to join the event. Thanks for tuning in to my Women Who Empower series. Bye. If you like this video, hook me up with a thumbs up, a share, and a style scribe. Want to know who else inspires me in a strong way? Click on the next video to find out. Tell me in the comment section who empowers you. And come visit me, Bianca Jade, at Misfit.com.